Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to continue on with power factor correction. Um, this particular one is a parallel circuit here and, uh, it's from unit 4 handout 13 guys. And it's the first question. We're going to do it together and, uh, looks awfully like the parallel circuits we were doing before. It's a little bit different because notice there's no values around this capacitor bank here. And that's because the capacitor bank is the power factor correction capacitor bank. Okay. And so this is going to be our uncorrected load there, right there. And then we're going to figure out what's going on with this, which is going to correct it. Now it's really important to notice this little note here. All values given are after power factor correction and the caps are going to correct the power factor to unity or one. Okay. So that matters because sometimes it'll say 0.9 there alternator so no transformer to deal with looks like the line voltage is 208 and look the first bunch of questions here are referring to these two loads right here and uh, you already know how to calculate that so go ahead and pause the video see if you can calculate e line load one e phase load one i you know same with load two <clears throat> and uh, maybe even the true power and the uh, vars xl and then you might want to stop and come back and see how I'm going to finish it up. But for right now, I'm going to uh, figure it out here. E-line load one, guys, 208. You know, and load one is delta, so it's also E-phase. Okay, I-phase. It's the voltage divided by the, you know, resistance there. Let's calculate that. And uh, obviously you want to do this really carefully, like always, okay. That one's Y. Eleven ohms looks like. And that's why, so okay, so I've calculated up till there, and now I'm gonna calculate my uh true power. Now the true power is gonna be load one, right guys? Same as before, okay? Two oh eight times twenty-four times root three, because it's three phase. <clears throat> Looks like it's eight, six, four, six, you know, watts. Okay, guys. And uh, VARS XL, you guys know the drill. These two, right? That's the inductor. 10. Thirty nine thirty one bars. Now VA after correction, guys, this thing is going to get corrected to Unity. What that means is well, we're correcting to one. So let's draw a phasor diagram of this thing here for a sec, a power phasor diagram, right? Because we're going to have our true power, which we figured out right here, 8646. Right? And uh, we're going to also have uh, this guy, the uh, inductor, right, guys? It sits right here. That's VARS XL. And it looks like it's 3931. Right? And since we're correcting this guy to Unity, guys, that capacitor is going to take, well, this capacitor bank is going to take care of all of that, right? 
there's the cap bank okay and I haven't figured out well it's going to be 39.31 isn't it guys but uh, what I'm trying to show you here is that uh, your VA well if I corrected it to unity it's going to be equal to the watts right guys 86.46 volt amps okay so 86.46 VA now if I was correcting to 90% guys I'd have my 86.46 watts, I'd have my VARS XL, and I'd have my VARS XC coming down, you know, my capacitor bank coming down part of the way, right? And then I'd have my power factor here, uh, my VA here, I'm sorry, and your power factor of 0.9. And I could calculate the VA, but I'd have to divide this by 86.46. Okay, so if we're doing a 0.9, it's the same as everything else, okay? But, uh, you know, it would look a little bit different, right, guys? So... What do you guys think? VARS XC. Well, there's your cap bank. Since we're correcting Unity, it's taking care of all of it. So VARS XC for this entire circuit, guys, is 3931 VARS. Right? XC each. Well, if I'm going to calculate M, which is, you know, how many ohms is each one of these guys? Okay. Well, in order to figure that out, guys, I have to take this cap bank and I have to divide it by three, all right? So we'll do it down here, but the caps each, okay? Because this cap bank is this whole thing. It's gonna be 3931 VARS, okay? Divided by three, okay? So let's calculate that for a second. 3931, which is the whole cap bank, divided by three, looks like they are 1310, VARS each, okay? And that's just the first thing we have to do. The next thing we've got to do is figure out how many ohms they are each, and uh, we're going to do that right here. XC, well, it's E squared over VARS, right, guys? And what is the voltage? Well, it's delta. So the voltage dropping across there is going to be 208. If this was Y, It'd be delta, you know, 208 divided by root 3, but it's not. So it's 208 squared over 1310. Let's calculate that. 208 squared divided by 1310. 33 ohms. Okay. So this is 33 ohms. Now, uh, be careful with that, guys, because this VARS XC, that green line, that's all three, okay? This is asking for how many ohms are those each. Now, I want you to notice that even though your inductor is 11 ohms, it doesn't mean your capacitor is going to be 11 ohms because this is not a series circuit, okay? Not only that, but this is why that's connected delta. So you can't go like, oh, in order to take care of this, I'm going to use 11 ohm caps. No. Okay, the only way to solve this, guys, is to do it with power phasers. Okay, wow, there's other ways to solve it, but the best way to solve it is to do it with power phasers and don't take any shortcuts. It won't work, okay? Um, we just decided that that's 33 ohms. We're going to calculate the microfarads. C is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fxc, right? This is kind of the second step. Same as everything else so it's going to be 2 times pi times 60 times 33 equals hit 1 over x equals looks like it is 0. 0.00008 farads okay which is 80 microfarads all right guys and uh yeah, this isn't anything new, okay? I'm just doing it with you one step at a time. I-line alternator. Well, how am I going to calculate that? Now, there's hard ways and easy ways to do this too, but the way I'm going to do it is I know the VA, and so I'm going to do it up here, okay, guys, because, you know, I'm running out of room as usual, right, guys? So O right here. Uh, I is equal to VA over E-line times root three, okay? This will always calculate current if I know the VA. And the VA, we calculate it right over here, 86.46 over 
208 times root 3. Okay, so I'm going to do that. 208 times root 3 equals, and then I'm going to go 86, 46 divided by that answer. 24 amps. Oops. Okay, so this one here is 24 amps, and guess what? Once again, it's Y, so going to have the same current. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Try your homework. It's the rest of this thing. Unit 4, handout 13. Okay, try 2, 3, and 4. I might take up number 3 um, in the next video. Okay, guys? So come back for that.